Hey, it's Stephen for FutureLooks.com. In December, I wrote an article that kind of compared the new Mac Pro to a PC DIY build. And my conclusion was that the new Mac Pro is a fantastic value in parts for a Mac OS X user. But for the PC DIY guy, it's not really upgradable. Over here, I've got Larry. He's one of the experts. And because he's an expert in Macs and Apple in general, whatever he says is gospel. So what really is upgradable in the new Mac Pro? The, the new Mac Pro, uh has a, a processor that can be, can be upgraded. We actually confirmed that last week. So you can buy a four core or the six core base model and then you know, at your convenience and we'll have an upgrade program. We'll also have DIY kits we're putting together. But we've tested now you know, up to the maximum uh, processor speed with 10 cores and 100, 130 watts at TPD. There's a little bit faster model, you know, we uh, processor out there and certainly this is something that you know, a DIY guy, if you're comfortable taking something apart and we've, we've got a video up that kind of shows how it all comes together, but at the same time, you know, it's not necessarily for the faint of heart. And having said that, you know, we don't recommend going above Apple's maximum processor uh, wattage, 130, but you know, certainly we have confirmed now all the, uh, the Xeon that, of that, that 1600 and uh, 2600 line are pin compatible and you know, plug and play functional with the system. So we're very comfortable saying you know, this machine is very friendly when it comes to processor upgrades. Memory is easy. And we are the first to begin shipping upgrades up to 64 gigabyte for this system. We actually support up to 120 gigabytes for the prior models, and we hope to be uh, the first to bring 120 gig into the the latest Mac Pro. You know, once we confirm that compatibility, the video cards, the GPUs, you know, those are they are removable. You know, at this point in time, you know, moving Apple's cars between different systems and pairs doesn't seem to be uh, any kind of issue. You know, the, the jury's still out whether there's going to be ways to put other video card options in the future. That being said, what this machine, what this machine ships with are, are absolutely incredibly powerful. You know, that, that's not something that anybody's gonna be worrying about near term. The other upgradable piece is the PCI SSD. We're already in the prototype phase with a, a PCI upgrade. We are looking to bring into that machine to go up to two terabytes. And whether it's, you know, our product or, you know, down the road you need more storage than what comes with the system, certainly uh, the actual module is replaceable. So it's arguable whether it's a third-party product or an Apple SSD, the possibility and the, uh, certainly the, the capability exists to swap the SOC PCIe you know, for a larger model down the road. When it comes to everything else, everything else is you know, pretty much external on this system. You, know, you can have PCIe cards with a product like our Helios 2. That's a 20 gigabit Thunderbolt 2 uh, product. So it gets you up, you, know, you can put two single width or one single width and a, a dual width card inside. You know, whichever, uh, you know, pretty much whatever PCI cards, whatever capabilities you need to add to the system that it does already come with inside, exceptional flexibility. You know, we put a couple of our Excelsior PCI Express cards, SSD cards into this unit and uh, rated them together and that provides over 1,000 megabytes uh, per second to sustain the throughput. You know, great for video editing, you know, great for you know, well, just about anything you can imagine the side bandwidth. Now, one thing that did come up in the questions, the comments, the hate, uh, <laughs> was whether or not we could actually add a second PCI Express SSD, because we know that one of the GPUs actually has an extra slot on it. Is there a way for people to simply buy a second GPU and upgrade to a second uh, PCI Express SSD? At the moment, the short answer is just going to be simply no. Now, exactly. you never know what Apple's got in store. I mean, there's hopefully a reason, a purpose for you know what appears to be an open position. That being said, today, the answer is no. Okay, now, so I guess, just to recap, so far we know that the CPU is completely upgradable, Apple has not locked that down as long as you're buying from the same family and the same wattage of GP, uh, CPU. We know that the memory is completely upgradable, as long as the memory capacities keep going up and you keep providing them, they will be upgradable. And we also know that the PC Express SSD, the single unit, is upgradable because you guys are already looking into a product. Yes sir, absolutely. Now, one of the things that we also noticed from all of the comments is that a lot of old Mac Pro, old gen Mac Pro users have not been taken care of with the new Mac Pro. They're gonna be stuck with a lot of hardware that they can't use, but you've actually taken care of those users too, right? Oh, absolutely positively. I mean, I'll say this, I mean, I'd be real honest. This machine is, you know, I'm a lot more excited today about this machine than I was six weeks ago. The flash to me, it kind of grows on you. I don't need this kind of horsepower. I mean, unless you're doing 4K video, 3D video, I mean, you know, it's a pretty high-end stuff. I mean, this is way overkill for somebody who already has a great machine. So we have upgrades for an existing machine, kind of level the playing field. In fact, the playing field can be leveled with a product that we make, our PCI Excelsior car, which I'm happy to show you right over here. Sounds good. Let's go have a look at that.
So as promised, Larry is going to show us a couple of upgrades that uh, you can make today to your last generation Mac Pro. Uh, starting with this guy right here, this is the Excelsior you're talking about, right? Yep, this is our uh, PCI SSD. It's fully bootable. It's the first and only fully, fully bootable uh, PCI ex uh, Express SSD card for the uh, Macintosh. It works in a Mac Pro actually all the way back to 2006, but it's especially a great upgrade for 2009 and later. We have a, you have great PCI slots with full bandwidth. This will boot your Mac in seconds. Now, just like the new Mac Pro, it's based on PCI uh, SSD storage. Putting this into your existing Mac Pro, 2000, again, 2006 and up to a 2012 model, absolutely transforms that machine and levels the playing field in a lot of ways. For just about everything outside of where the GPU comes into play, you know, a previous Mac Pro, you know, even so, you look at some of the 2012s, they actually have higher processor scores than the new models. But all these other systems, they have software that may not even run on the latest OS. There's a lot you can do, in fact, up to 128 gigabytes of memory, our PCI SSD, to bring a, a level of new life to those systems for a, literally a few hundred dollars, which for a lot of applications is actually gonna rival what perhaps even a stock 2013 can do for you. And that's going to basically keep those machines running and also very valuable on the market, I suppose. Certainly, you know, it's, you know, it's certainly telling the aftermarket, you know, you look at the the, uh, the velocity on used system of sales, and actually look at the availability of used systems. Since the 2013 came out, it's actually gone down. People have been gobbling up. Just again, 2009 to 2012s, you know, they don't last very long out there because people want them. That goes to show that upgradability is actually important to Apple users out there, right? Oh, absolutely. And I'm really glad Apple left the opportunity to swap the processors out because. You know, that's an awesome, expensive piece of hardware as well. It's nice to know it's got a future in terms of being able to swap a couple of processors and, and get more capability out of her. Now, as I understand, you have a uh, new product at, uh, at the show that is going to make new Mac Pro users drool, isn't it? Absolutely, positively. Well, we're moving forward with our support for PCI uh, SSDs for all the uh, 2013 models, including the new Mac Pro. That little tiny uh, device next to our uh, four-way uh, Excelsior 4Q is actually a prototype of our PCI storage for the Mac Pro. We're looking to go up to two terabytes uh, for storage in the Mac Pro, which will double what you currently can get available from the factory. And then next to it is our Excelsior Pro Q. This will work on our Helios 2 chassis, as well as directly inside, natively uh, via PCIe, inside an existing uh, 2009 to 2012 Mac Pro. That solution supports up to about 1,800 megabytes per second of sustained throughput, which is more than adequate for 4K video, 2K, I mean, anything you can throw at it. And it's about 600 megabytes a second, faster than the uh, stock SSD inside the new Mac Pro. So in terms of leveling the playing field, that, you know, again, where the GPU is not your, your bottleneck, Loving the playing field in an existing piece of hardware, you know, we have the products that really do it. Great, thank you so much, Larry, for running us through all the upgrade possibilities for the new Mac Pro and also for the Mac Pro. Now, I'm a PC DIY guy, so you've got the word directly from a true Mac lover over here. The OWC guys make all sorts of upgrades, which are very important to the Apple users, and uh, that's the word, all right? I'm Steven with FutureLooks.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again in our next video. Take care.